So recently I got another question and I feel like I can answer that one for you guys very well because I've got the same thing happening to my rhododendrons out on my property. In fact, I got two questions and we're going to talk about two issues that come up with rhododendrons and what the problem is and maybe how to deal with it. Maybe there's nothing to do to deal with it. But let me read this first question to you. It's from PJ Hardgrove Bonfield. It says, I have the most beautiful rhododendron, which blooms right on time every spring. After blooms are spent, I snap them off. Only pruning that happens. It is probably five by five. This year I have blooms which haven't opened. New growth is starting to grow around the unopened blooms. As soon as I read that, I knew exactly what you were talking about. What to do. I broke some of the new whitish growth off, but stopped until I talked to someone. I'm glad you talked to me. Are you deading them or just leaving them alone? Deadheading is what uh, the person was asking. So I've got the exact same thing that happens occasionally with my rhododendrons. I know exactly what this is. I know exactly why it's happening. Please don't break that new growth off your rhododendron. It's perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong. And I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on out there right now. I love this place in the spring. It's so beautiful, guys. Let's come along to the back side of this rhododendron bed. And I've got something to show you. And it's a little depressing, but here it is. So this is my Lem's Cameo crossed with Big Sam. And you can see one of the blooms right there. In fact, I'm going to try and put a picture in here of last year's blooms that look a million times better than this. And I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with this thing. This thing should be blooming right now, just like in this picture that I got somewhere around here. It should be blooming right now. And you can see a couple of the blooms coming out here, but it's not blooming like it should. And here's what's going on. And so you see all these, look at all these flower buds. There's a flower bud there. There's flower buds everywhere. And they should be blooming, but they're not. And I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch this. Look at this. I'm breaking it off. I'm breaking it off. There it is. That thing was never gonna bloom guys look at this one I already broke this one off it was never gonna bloom let me see if I can where's another one here's another one right here this one's really bad it's dead it's rotten it's not gonna bloom some of these might send up oh, nope look look at that it wanted to bloom but it didn't it started sending up that growth it's just ugly it's falling apart there look at that flower right there it's just not working out and that's how all these are gonna do this year there's one that actually made it. The rest of them are not gonna make it. It should be in full bloom, it's not. And look, this is gonna show you guys something. This is gonna show you. You see those, they're gonna make it. Some of these down low are blooming. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna solve this mystery for you. Now, here's what this person was saying. They had new growth coming out around the buds. Look at that, new growth. Usually with rhododendrons, and a lot of plants, the blooms come first and then the new growth comes later. Look at this, new growth. New growth coming out, but no bloom. The bloom should already be open, but it's not. Now, not all varieties are like this, but this is the way this one is, and the way this person's is. That bloom should have happened, but it didn't. Here's the thing. I'm gonna solve this for you right now. The freezing temps. And I already told this person this. We've been talking back and forth on Facebook, but what we had, the problem was, this was gonna be loaded with beautiful blooms, but Later in the spring, well, not later in the spring, but later in the blooming season, we all of a sudden had 29 degree temp come through one night and it blasted a lot of buds. If you've been watching my videos, you saw that Taurus rhododendron video, it blasted some of the new blooms. And what happened is these buds got killed and now the new growth is starting to emerge. It's gonna, the plant's fine, it's gonna emerge and new growth's gonna come out, but here's the thing, the lower buds were protected by all this upper growth. And so some of them are still gonna open up and bloom. That's the problem that's going on with your plant. So if you see that, don't break the new growth off. This new growth's easier to see. They said they had white new growth. And some rhododendrons send up growth that looks a little peakish and white, and it might uh, look like it's bad and it needs to come off, but just leave it. That's just the new branches coming out. The bud's just not gonna open this year, unfortunately. But there it is, that's that answer. I got another problem to talk to you about. So I recently got another question from somebody 
that you know they they said i've had this rhododendron that's been growing for 20 years and it was big they showed me a little video of it it was big and it was dying all the leaves were drooped way down kind of olive colored looking and you could tell it was dying the roadies around it were doing okay and you could tell that they were going to start growing through the spring but this one was dying a few of them were dying and they were huge they're probably like 10 foot tall i don't know and it, it was it's devastating because it's been there 20 years what is the problem I know what the problem is and I'm going to take you out here and show you I get the same problem too occasionally and it's no fun let's go look at it all right ignore the weeds but you see all the beautiful blooms <laughs> well there it is guys the same exact thing is happening to some of my rhododendrons not a lot of them just this one this year occasionally I'll get one but this is caused by a fungal disease called Phytophthora and it's rampant throughout the rhododendron world. In fact, a lot of different plants this can happen to, but it's basically a fungal disease that affects the roots. It's root rot and it's because of real wet, damp soils that don't drain well, you know, and it's in there and for some reason it gets infected and others around it don't and they just bloom beautifully and they grow really nicely and there's no problems at all. And God forbid that ever happens to this one because this is one of my favorite all-time varieties. But it happens and there's just nothing you can do about it. Like I said, this person had their rhododendron for 20 years and then this happened and it's sad. The best thing you can do is cut it right down at the base, plant something else. Or I'll probably just leave this area because this one's going to get huge and that one's going to get big. And, you know, it, oh, here's another example of what I was just showing you on the other one. No bloom. Look at that. No bloom. It's rotten. It's rotten, but new growth. It was that freeze we had. It was a late freeze. It didn't affect everything. I got tons of blooms around here, but some of these it really affected, and that one's Mango Tango. Beautiful bloom. Should be covered, but it's not. But this one's the Phytophthora, and it's a real bummer. I don't know that there's any way to completely eradicate it. It's just part of nature. It's a bummer, but I want to show you something really cool alongside this particular situation because this is a beautiful variety that I absolutely adore and it's the only one I had planted out on my property. So here's an old makeshift frame of rhododendrons I've got. We had to set this up last year so I could make room in the propagation frame when I had the hand injury. But look at this guys, I want to show you something. Look at this little plant. Look at this. That right there, Campanulatum. That is the only cutting, the only baby I've got from that one that died. And it's putting on new growth and it's growing beautifully. It's gonna turn into a beautiful, listen, I didn't lose it. I lost that one parent plant to Phytophthora, but I've got it, the exact genetic clone. We're gonna take care of it and get it growing and then quickly take more cuttings. But this one's gonna grow into a big healthy plant because I know it, I can feel it, I'm giving it love. Isn't that cool? I had no idea I was going to lose that plant this year to Phytophthora, but we hung on to those genetics. Somehow they slipped through the cracks, and we've got, I took that cutting two years ago, and somehow we've still got it. We still have it. Anyway, I think that's so cool, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. I hope you learned something from it. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.